Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel or hello I am Misha Grimes and today's video I'm chillaxing on the sofa with a special little addition. You may have noticed the sparkles at the side of me and that is because this video is part two of my pageant Q&A. Quite a bit has changed. This has changed. This has happened. So Hello, I am Misha Grimes and I'm Miss Teen Galaxy England, which still sounds so surreal and really, really weird. If you are stumbling across this video, you may not know what Miss Teen Galaxy means, what happens, where I go, what I do, the whole shebang. So I was crowned in March to represent England in the Galaxy International pageant come this June, July. July 10th is when we leave. I am off to Orlando, Florida for the international finals, which I am so, so excited for. I think I've already started packing my suitcase, which is a bit crazy. I got into pageants when I was 13 years old and I was just like any other young girl who wanted to have a hobby and I couldn't horse ride, couldn't play the guitar, couldn't sing. At least I thought I could, but I really couldn't. It all just started from there. Everyone talks about the infamous pageant bug, and yes, it is a thing, it is true. Anyone that has competed once, if you've never competed again, I take my hat off to you. Well, I take my crown off to you, because anyone that I've ever known has competed once and competed again and again and again because they just loved it that much. And it's fair to say I'm a living, breathing example of that. Competing in Miss Teen Galaxy England was actually my sixth? My sixth pageant, which is absolutely crazy and these last five years have flown by. Looking back on it now, I am so, so incredibly happy that I stumbled across pageantry and my life would be very, very different without it. I'm forever grateful. But apart from the big international final, obviously you have the crown for the rest of the year as well. So what do you do for this year of your reign? Well, that is something that is individual to each and every pageant girl. Now, as we all know, pageants are not just all about getting up on stage. There is actually a lot of groundwork that goes into pageantry from the contestants and obviously the directors organizing the event. So there is nothing you have to do before a pageant. There's no rules, there's no regulations, absolutely nothing. It's up to you. But personally, I do feel that social media is a, such a powerful tool and pageant girls just don't use it enough. Now, anyone that has me on Facebook is probably thinking, shush Misha, you post way too much on Facebook. No one cares. But well, I care and I'm trying to make a difference and I'm trying to make my voice heard, so I will post to my heart's content. If I could give one bit of advice to any pageant girl, it is to utilize social media. It is so incredibly powerful in this day and age, and you can reach hundreds of people, thousands, millions of people across the web. Use Facebook, use Instagram, maybe even Snapchat. Not that that will really help, but we can try. They sometimes have cute crown filters. And then touching onto the charity work, I mentioned in my last video about how I've raised lots of money for charity and that is all because of pageantry. So I've now got a new total and my total I'm currently sitting on is 14,000 pounds. Yes, 14,000 pounds. I'm quite proud of myself. Since winning the title of Missing Galaxy England, I have been very, very busy working with so many charities in my local area and across the country. And I think we're hitting something like the 20 or 25 mark on the different charities that I've worked with. I'm a strong believer in you can give your time because I'm such an advocate of time makes the biggest difference. We can't all fundraise in millions of charities, but we can give our time and that makes all the bit of difference. So yeah, before a pageant and with a pageant crown, I get involved with loads of charities. I volunteer within my local community and you know, I do sometimes sit in the mirror and just stare at the beautiful crown. I take lots of selfies, but that's only a minor thing. Now, pageant stereotypes. Pageants are very, very stereotyped. And I mean, before I competed in them, I probably didn't know what they were, but I'm sure I would have believed the stereotypes. And it is the sort of thing where you need to be there to be able to understand and to really process what's going on. Obviously, just me sitting here saying, oh yeah, I go on stage in a long dress and smile at a panel of judges. That sounds really strange. I walk around with my crown on, helping out within my community. Sounds strange. 
I know. It does take some getting used to. It just really bugs me, these stereotypes that exist for pageantry. And well, hopefully you can tell I'm not some crazy, well I am crazy, but I do kind of had my head screwed on. So it would not be something that I would endorse if I didn't 100% believe in it. These stereotypes need to be broken. We are strong, powerful, independent young women who are trying to make a change. And what does it matter if we wanna do it whilst wearing a crown? Pageants have given me such an incredible platform to share my stories and to really make a difference. So ultimately, why is it that I love pageantry so, so very much? And and that's impossible to put my finger on it. I love every single thing about pageantry. It is my hobby, it is my passion, and I'm proud to say that it's such a big part of my life. Everyone knows that I go on about how pageants have shaped me into the person that I am today, and thinking about it, I wouldn't be sat here right now filming this video if it wasn't for pageants. They have given me so much confidence, and I know everyone goes on about, oh, pageants give you confidence, blah, 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 blah. They do, they honestly do. Something about getting out on stage in front of loads of people that you don't even necessarily know, you'd think, oh my gosh, it's so scary. No, the empowerment you feel as you are walking out there is on another level. I also love pageants for the friendships. Now, this is so cliche, but I do have some of my bestest friends because of pageantry. So, Molly, Chloe, you know who you are, yeah. I'm talking to you, Chloe, you got your mention, you're welcome, but oh, oh, I'm actually like tearing up. This is, this is how much pageants mean to me. Gosh, didn't see this one coming. Pageants have given me so, so many friends and they're from across the country. Because of FaceTime, I can FaceTime them for three hours of an evening, which I do very often. Go pageants, you have united so many women across the world and thank you. Thank you so very much. I'm pretty sure that wraps up everything. If people want me to do a part three, then I'm more than happy to do so. I hope you have enjoyed this video. It's really strange sitting down and talking about something that you're so passionate about because you just have so much to say and obviously I don't want this video to be 10 years long. A last little thank you to Holly and all the Pageant Girl team who have created these opportunities for me and so many girls across the country. So yeah, you rock Holly. You honestly do. And I am so, so incredibly excited to see where my pageant journey will take me. And yeah, it's taken me to Florida, so I'm not complaining. I'm sure I will be doing lots of pageant related filming whilst I'm out there, or at least I hope to. I'm not making any promises because at pageants, we all know it's very hectic. And the last thing I'm really thinking about doing is picking up a camera and telling you all how it's going because I'm just having a bit of a little bit of a like a shenanigans going on. But I will try my best best. So wish me luck for Florida and I shall see you all very soon. Bye. So um, yeah, you should subscribe and um, you should watch this video because, you know, the crown said so. Bye.